Hawkeye. 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 So, here is the earth. Man, that's a that's pretty, pretty sweet, sweet earth. earth. You have to say Hawkeye. 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 So, Hawkeye. Yeah. This All right. So, uh, <laughs> well, this this has been requested. I don't know. I saw one request for this. Uh, I don't think another. it's been that, that hotly requested. And then another. I, <laughs> and then another. I didn't really get it because I kept seeing I guess on the end. So, I thought mm-hmm. they were, like people were trying to be passive aggressive about it. Like, not, like we're not demanding this. It's just if you feel like it. I mean. No, it's actually, that, actually what it's called. Yeah. And actually, I put out a thing saying saying, don't worry, guys. We will react to this our next recording day. And then, and then the very next, no, then the very next day, that exact same person that I replied to, and they said, okay, said react to this. I'm just like, we told you our next recording day. He's like, I know, dude. I just want you to watch it. I was like, <laughs> we get it. Look, I'm a contrarian. If it were up to me, you would never see this. Oh, God. This is why, okay, this is why Ben's not in full control of the channel. Don't get me wrong. This is why he has his own stream day, and whatever he yeah. feels like streaming is what he does. And, I mean, let's be real. Eventually, you're going to have to just give me a key because I'm going to be here streaming all the time. <laughs> it's going to get to that point. You're going to wake up at, like, 7 in the morning and come downstairs because you're you're hearing me just swearing at Dark Souls. Yeah, and uh, and Cole will be on the other side of the Cole will be on the other side of the the line saying, <laughs> "Dude, you need to you need to get good, man." And I'm I'm gonna be like, "Listen here, you little son of a bitch. I'm gonna come over there." It's Cole's birthday today. It is it's Cole's, Cole's birthday, birthday today. today. So it won't be when this video. It won't well, be when this video. Uh, comes this is out, coming out tomorrow. I'm at I'm, uh, at time of recording the uh, 18th. It is Thursday, on the, on May, 18th. May 18th. Uh, it's Cole's birthday. Yes, he it is. Happy birthday, buddy. He is 20 years old. What? Get that money. Yeah, that big two zero. That's Jesus, so... that's young. I'm no Micah... longer the youngest person. Wait, are you younger than me? No, I'm older than you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just one. So, yeah, I'm no longer the youngest person on the channel. Well, there you go. Chico's only 14. Okay, Chico. In dog is years, like... that's like 98. Yeah, yeah I know. There you go. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. There's Chico's the oldest. Older than Nate. Yeah. Chico's oh, the oldest. He didn't, he didn't well, like he, it. Caleb's older than me, but he's never he here. Didn't. Yeah. And Sean was and older Chico, than me. Chico but just sticks his head out and he's like, hey. Yeah, I'm out here stinky. now. Yeah. All right. He has, but he has the stinky breath. Go away. But we've, but we've <laughs> been uh, requested no. to watch oh, this The History of the Entire World, I guess, by Bill Wirtz. Bill Wirtz did a video not too long uh, ago. I think about a few year, about a year or two ago. A history, uh, history of Japan, Japan which yeah. Micah and I did. It was awesome. That video is really, really, it's good. really good. Actually, I remember I saw the Loading Ready Runs reaction to it. Yeah, downright hilarious. Yeah, and uh, this right oh, here. Oh, is that a desert bus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. I can't wait to see what this contains. So, oh, this is. I guess without further ado, one. on screen. The entire world. And. A one, I guess. Two, a one, two, three, four. Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like yep. I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. It starts to make sense in a minute. It's a very bright screen. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things okay, to change. Okay, now it I makes sense. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together, because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news. The quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around, too, that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... (laughs) Great news. The protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news. The electrons have now joined in. Congratulations. The world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, with way passion. crazier shit. <laughs> which allows younger, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into. So now stars have cool I've already around, seen this. Like I love oh, this. Damn it, Elena. Which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess, which is... 
Weather there update. It's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update. Those rocks might have had water inside them, and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update. Cooler temperatures today, and the floor is no longer lava. Weather <laughs> update. It's raining. Severe flooding alert. The entire world is now an ocean. <laughs> Volcano alert. That's land. <laughs> what? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh, cool. Like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh, yeah, and it can do that. My it has toes. secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. <laughs> 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 The sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball awesome. for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's animals and stuff. stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. <laughs> now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, day. can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs. And fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg, in the water, in the egg. Works for me. Bye bye, ocean. And now everything's huge, including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck, now everything's dead. Just gonna leave the survivors. <laughs> Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. It does it all the time. And the dinosaurs are gone. Damn it. So is everything else. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Mammal time. Look at those breasts. Now they're gonna dominate the world and one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like walk like that and grab stuff at the same time and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Knish. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. <laughs> Let's review. There's people on the planet. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all I control houses, the food. Except bigger because I own the food. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dang valley right in between these two rivers. <laughs> and Danny and I help him. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. <laughs> the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? <laughs> my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. While out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, check out that I mentioned. In this river, Chico. Maybe, <laughs> Chico. Maybe because it's in the or middle of the east. Or just regular Chico, or who is in a blanket. Cow. It's the people with the horses. Yeah. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied the horses. Greeks. Ah, oh, look, it must be the Greeks. Or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check uh, in with the Indus River. Oh, the Greeks are in beta. They're gone. Neat. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. China's really the Jesus oldest civilization. That surviving. That survived, yeah. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You can make a religion out of this. There you There's go. the Bronze Age collapse. Now now the can get down to business. Also, can you switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came there back to go. Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's <laughs> Must be the Amish. The Phoenicians make some uh, how do you How do you feel about that, Micah? Idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind. It's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. <laughs> Wow, Pretty that's much. Big. Oh, that's big. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? <laughs> this guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, and China just, just broke, stop. but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring noise. out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's oh. a great idea. He well, was great. 
and now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between no, them. No, 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 it's Chandragupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. <laughs> we'll <Yeah. start> in- <laughs> <laughs> Yep, the, the Southern Cape. They couldn't do it. Who are the Tail Kings? Merchants, probably. probably. And they've got spices. I would like to buy the spices. Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Confucius. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Fuck you, obey the law. Ah. nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. <laughs> Let's check the Greekification <laughs> levels of the Greekified king. Awesome. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, oh. said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Oh. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy, who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a... Brand new road to the world. And they're rebuilding it, actually. Oh, or you could get their own water. Sick, new trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it will reach China to before it collapses again. again. Remember the oh, Persian there we go. Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axel <laughs> is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated yeah, Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. But for how long? There, there we go. go. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? <laughs> Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got big. Empire selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the golden age of There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non- there we Romans, go. Said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or actually, just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so yeah, let's get a team. Yeah. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population, everyone. The Goat Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Goat Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. But for how long? Kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Hey! Deep in the Arabian Desert. On the top <laughs> that is about halfway through God the video. Yeah. Zir. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make <laughs> religion out of this, and maybe town. conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus, there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom. Yeah. In the house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. <laughs> Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. <laughs> Surprise! You're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. <laughs> the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north. And they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They also have <laughs> prank, bro. called many names, such Wait. as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New yeah. kingdoms. <laughs> Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Celtic Turks. That's my favorite part. They need help. They need help. So they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Celtics? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail. But at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Lions. That's true. Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here, Come Africa here. is there. Vietnam unconquered itself. Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented <laughs> bombs and typing, and the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. <laughs> is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. Yeah. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. It means lake. There's an empire there, right in the middle of. The- 
The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing totally a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please <laughs> remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of oh. Europe just died. China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Hey! Oh, he's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art in the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice there job, Ottoman go. Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget <laughs> to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to India. Wait. Browns and Christopher Columbus probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry. We already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, no please, please. No, no please, please. No, please. 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 Okay. okay. So he sails into the ocean hey! and discovers more ocean. And then discovers the Indies and Japan. Mm. Let's draw a line Japan. to decide who gets which half of the world. <laughs> uh, Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I That's what he thought. Yeah, I know. Continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. They did. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. bullshit. That's a scam. Okay. Here goes Martin Luther. Here's 95 yep. reasons why, said Martin Luther, in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent? Fuck said the Suleiman church. wearing an onion hat? What? The Ottoman Empire was... was That's say, a pretty yeah, fantastic hat. But if Russia was big, he's yeah. been trying not to be terrible. Portugal had a Too dream late. that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sure. <laughs> Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. Stolen. It's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on no. the to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia <coughs> a chance to show Austria who's boss. Yep. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. No. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start <laughs> taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says Here America, declaring their independence. <laughs> and, and we're doing this France now. Here we go. Win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, there France is broke. Why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Mm -hmm. Let's off with the their heads. And cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit No, don't. No, 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 like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we Daddy do this Bookman. before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? Said Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes and Latin America, did. becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just yeah. figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains, and conquer India, and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. Uh. It's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Ooh. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. <laughs> they, never got they never got Ethiopia. They never got Thailand. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Cuba. <laughs> Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of the rest around that they delete their own government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Uh -huh. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War I. Look mm -hmm. at those guns. It's going to be a great war. Gun so great, we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism. 
in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone, so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. <laughs> Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Ugh. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model. And he's mad at the Jews for <laughs> existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny him. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Finish him. Oh. Let's unite all the nations and have oh. some world peace. <laughs> Mike, Chief. are Hi, you I'm okay? Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, no. I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that, wow, that worked. worked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Actually, two Pakistans. One of them can be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same uh, time. Wait. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No cool. thanks, said the other China, escaping the to the I wonder which yeah. one is the real China. There's the Korean War. Republic Korea of China. Versus Korea. Nobody Tang. wins, then yep. it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Okay. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. Capitalism and they both wins. Atom bombs. Fight. Oh. Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. <laughs> and make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make sure the fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States yeah, finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world Whoa. population. Whoa. Okay. Uh, hmm. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. <laughs> Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. With bombs. Want to print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? That was 2037. Inventing the thing inventor. So what is the thing inventor? We don't know yet. It's a... It's a the thing. thing inventor. It invents things. It invents things. Well, that was a ride. They never got Ethiopia. And they never got Thailand. Thailand. They never got Thailand. <laughs> they never got Ethiopia. <laughs> no, no. We can make a religion out of this. No, don't. 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 It's the Seljuk Turks. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Ooh. Nate, you were a history major, right? Yeah. Oh so yeah. So how on how a scale accu- on a scale of one to ten, how accurate? How many accurate is this? Okay, in terms of okay, world history, I I was more of a layman in, but I but I was studying it a lot. Um, they got a lot. It's they got pretty, pretty much. Way. They got pretty much almost everything on the nose in terms of the history. Um, in terms, I mean, it's hard to get the whole world well, history yeah, yeah. in twenty well, minutes. Well, yeah. I was going but, yeah. to say, as CGP Gray said, you know. Uh, the lines on the the lines on the chart of the family tree gloss over a lot of dra- of drama llama. So yeah, it so it's best just to go with the go with what happened and leave the smaller details out. But if you're interested, yeah, there's select readings that you can do yeah. to find out. Yeah. Um, in terms of everything I saw, I mean just, whew, oh boy, it's a lot to take in and. Yeah. I think these should be shown in history classes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was actually thinking because uh, one of my roommates in college now is a history teacher. Just show this at like and, day one, this. Yeah. Yeah. Or show it at the end and be like, you know, if you want to kind of rehash things that we've talked about, here's just a basic <laughs> fun, <laughs> fun thing. Here's and the, thing here's the too, study guide for the final exam. Yeah. And the thing is, too, is like if you if you learn something, it's funnier because you get it and you go, that's so true. And the way that they summarize yeah. it's even better. Yeah. So I feel like if you already know what's going on, it makes it funnier. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, that's the thing with this is like it's a lot of cliff notes. So you'd be like, "Oh, hey, that 
I remember that, but I mm -hmm. don't remember that. Let's go, you know, research that some more. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it's just like, you know, for, she was pretty much going word for word with it. She's Elena was seen it before. Like, I've seen it. Well, it, that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. you watch this enough and right, you, you start to remember stuff. Well, yeah. And it's the little music, the little musical ticks cues, that he does. Yeah. The little yeah. musical cues and ticks that he does. It just makes it all the better because yeah. it's just like, wow. Makes it, makes it more fun. Yeah. yeah. It, it's just like for History of Japan, I always remembered, uh, I, remember, I always remember the, we have invaded China. Said the Mongols. <laughs> yep. Come quietly or we will have to fight you as well, I guess. Yeah. And then they fought and also died in the typhoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Actually, and the, a tsunami. Yeah. And it's just like, how about sunrise, <laughs> lad? And then they they, they kept sunrise, making references right? to that in this. It yeah. was so good. It's like, I mean, he didn't cover a whole lot of Japan, but he'd already done that. So well, Yeah. Well, he glossed over a lot of the history of Japan and went with like the big things that happened right. in Japan. You know, yeah. like the shogunate taking over. The Edo, you know, you know, kind of like the Edo period, mm -hmm. uh, and, and stuff like that. <laughs> but Boy, and he's gone. <laughs> but this, I can see why people wanted us to watch this. This was very entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Very, 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 very well done. Have yes. you guys um, seen Emperor Tiger Star? What? Tiger pretty sure Star. I would remember that guy. Okay, Emperor Tiger Star has a pretty big channel on YouTube, and he's actually a member of our Discord. Oh. Really. Stop that. He's, he's subbed to you guys, and he's he also subbed to me, and he's been in the chat a few times. I mean, he may not be in the Discord anymore, but if anybody has Discord on their phone, and then you want to... I am just, on that right now. Yeah, just say, is Emperor is Emperor Tiger Star oh, still sorry. I hit, I hit a button on accident. Sorry about that. We have sound effects. Yeah. Uh, sound this effects. Little, this little thing right board. here. We have sound cool. effects. I got a little soundboard thing here, which is cool. It does <laughs> other things, too. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it does, does other things. Does like, for instance... It talks to us. Video on screen. Video off screen. Fancy. On screen, off screen, on screen, off screen. Hands free, yay. And then mute microphone. Damn it. Ah! They can ah! hear us again. Damn it. No. They can hear us again. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, ah! the I don't know. Uh, Silver Turks. Ah! Is he, is he still on there? I haven't I seen him on in a while. Uh, do you That's know what bullshit. his username this is? Is it just Emperor Tiger Star? Emperor Tiger Star. Uh, I don't know if it's bullshit. one word on there, bullshit. but I mean, you can you can check out his channel. Yeah. We'll, so we will do this. That thing so because, I mean, you can like, just type a message and be like, "Is Emperor Tiger Star still on this Discord?" Well, I, I searched for. Uh, but uh, anyway, the reason I mentioned him was he does like kind of virtual maps, or oh, just cool. that you can use in, in history class, and so he oh. kind of draws out the maps and like highlights different things of what's conquered during a certain time. Very nice. And, and he does them to be accompanied, like you can use them in your history class to kind of show where in the world you're talking about, like as it's conquered and kind of. That kind of stuff. That's really neat. Okay. Yep. Anyway, cool. yeah, I talked to him. He was on our Discord, and then and he subbed to you guys, and he subbed to me, and I was like, nice. "Cool, awesome. man. Awesome. That's there cool." And, and and you see stuff like that is just like, whoa. It, you find out. It's just like when we found out Cinema Sins was was subscribed to us. Yeah, for some was, they are. Yo. Yeah. <gasps> I was just like, That's, uh, when I found that out, I was like, I was like, I was like, what? I was like, what? Like, wait, uh, well, wait, well wait, when they what? commented on that on our one video on uh, the it was the uh, Fantastic Four one that we uh -huh. did cool. of theirs, and they commented and said, "Never realized how much I needed this. This was really good, guys. Good job." It's like, thank you. Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Just yeah, like going know, ape shit. You know, Wayne's World. We are not worthy. We are not, not worthy. worthy. You know. Exactly. <laughs> but and, it's then, just like, and then Chico's oh, just like, guy. what is happening? Look at little Chico. Understand. He pops his head out. Funky. He's just like, he's just he's like, like, is there food in here? Because I think it, I smell food. Is, did somebody, don't make me smell your bread, little bunkin. Did oh, somebody bring monkey. me the food of my people? Oh, no. no. Any what sort of your taco people? or quesadilla or burrito. Or oh, oh right, because he's a chihuahua. I get it. Yeah. I mean, Finally, yeah. yeah. I mean, there was there was a chihuahua that worked for Taco Bell. That means I get food, right? Te quiero Taco Bell. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> well, he obviously doesn't understand us, right? Not really, no. Can't we don't speak Spanish. Go no. smell his breath, Micah. I mean, I get a little bit over here. <laughs> yeah, there he, you go. So he does breath. understand no. Hey, Let's see. No, do you, you want to know the interesting thing? What? I can't smell, so it's fine. Is it? Is it? Vote Is on your phone. Really? Vote on your phone. Please don't vote on your phone. Everybody voted yeah, so guys, hard that the, you, that the Roadhouse this tipped over and fell apart. If you're apart. watching this discussion, talk about like what you what you would do or how you would feel about not being able to smell. I've known you're the oh. third person 
that really hasn't. I mean, your your time. brother was one. Yeah, well, he but he can now because he had surgery. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's what happened to me. If if you have a deviated septum. Yeah, maybe you I mean, might. I might potentially. I, might explain I mean, you never why know. You snore. Do, do I have a deviated septum? That, vote on your phones. Don't vote on your phones. Mike is becoming more and more uncomfortable every time we say vote on your phones. I don't care. Vote on your phone. It's not, I mean, it's not like more, effect, more effective effects. than actual voting. <laughs> nope. This is true. This is very true. Yes. And she oh, just boy. like... Look at this, dude. He's such a pumpkin. He's a little pumpkin. No, he's such a, like, a little vampire. He looks like a bat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like a little it's vampire ears. bat. I, yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is. A vampire bat. What is bat in Spanish? We'll explain it to them. He understands English, Micah. El bato. Why is, does his nose look like Nate's old couch? Oh, <laughs> that's mean. I was wondering I am, the same thing. I am taking that Good dog away from God. you. It looks, like, you him. It, looks uh, like he, it looks like he ran into a piece of sandpaper and scrubbed up his yeah, nose. Yeah, does he scratch his nose a lot? No, no. it's just it, his nose has always kind of been like that. Oh, maybe he just has dry skin. Get some like chapstick and like rub it on there. Yeah, oh. you try that. Yeah. Good luck. Aquaphor. Yeah, my, my nah. hand came near his, his um, nose. And, uh, I only have one tube well. of chapstick and it's mine. Yeah. Um, Jeez. No offense, little dude. He, he takes <laughs> what, no offense. He what's just chapstick he wants none of that. It? What is chapstick in Spanish? I'll explain it to him. <laughs> Jeppy stick. It's probably just chapstick. It's just oh, where's your right. sister? I know, right? You uh, know who speaks Spanish now? Isabella. That, that, that's completely expected. Isabella of Spain? No, Isabella My niece. of I know, Isabella I know. Just, her niece. Just, yeah. yeah, well, I'm just saying, like, because originally she didn't, but now she's in a dual language school. So she's learning uh-huh. to speak Spanish. Well, there you go. And we went to we went to one of her programs. I was just in Houston, and uh, we went to one of her programs where where they sang songs in Spanish oh. for the dual rank, the dual language program. Oh, there you go. And it was kind of the, the cutest thing ever. They learned little dances Aww. and sang songs. That's cute. That's Look at this little pupper falling asleep. <coughs> He's such a nugget. Yeah, such, such a, a little nugget. boy. Such a nugget. <laughs> That's yep. funny. A oh boy. Baby. All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this. Uh, we appreciate the amount of requests that we got for this. I can see why. There were so many requests that we're good. going to record this and it's never coming out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they won't hear that threat unless we post this video. Uh, well, I, I don't have, I forgot. I didn't have that one up. You don't have an evil laugh. No, yeah, the it was Ain't actually the it was actually the dun, yeah, it's a dun, top. Dun, I've already done the back. Yeah. It's a is the you know the yeah. dramatic gopher? <gasps> It's Aww. a dragonfly thing. That's pretty wow. legit. That's oh, wow. You nice. can actually pick that up on the camera. That's really Yeah, neat. it's because of very the, nice. It's because of the yarn overs. Yep. Anyway, that's a technical term. It's the holes. <laughs> All yep. right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's going to do it. We appreciate guys. everything uh, that you all... Uh, uh, that y- all uh, Everything and all the requests that we've gotten. I mean, honestly, so many requests. So many. It's so nuts. Many. It's so crazy. So many. So thank you all once again, and I guess signing off for the Renegades, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Elena. I'm Wyndham. Micah. And that's Chico. And that's Chico. We will see you all later, everyone. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Bye.